wanted to share a project that I did. Um, I had this many already made gumballs. The problem with the dark blue is that I have to use either a white or like a metallic Sharpie on them to write the kids' names. Uh, so I didn't make any other dark ones, but with these and those, I have 40. So that should be enough for the school year. Sounds like a lot, but kids move and new kids move in. So I always need some. Um, but these are the little gumballs, and I just put a magnet on the back. I glue it with super duper glue, and then I write the kids' names in Sharpie, and they go on the gumball right by my front classroom door um, so that they can put it up on the I'm out out at the bathroom sign. Doing the most important things first. Okay, I need two hands, but you get it. All right, putting in the coffee, putting in the cold beverages. This is what I'm talking about. And Yes, as a matter of fact, they do have to all face the same way. If they don't face the same way in your fridge, are you an animal? Anyway, okay, I'm ready to begin my day. Hello and happy Tuesday. I'm back <laughs> and here I am in my room looking to get a few things done. Tomorrow is our first day back with pay, so I'll be here tomorrow as well. And then the next day, which is Thursday, will be our first official day back. So I gotta get some stuff done. Back there, mm -hmm. yeah, I ripped it down. So, oops, let me show you what, let me show you what I'm gonna do today. So hubby and I came in on Saturday because he uh, put the fridge in for me. And then we, oh gosh, I'm just, I don't know what I think sometimes when I go to stores and buy things, but all of the, and by the way, I refuse to accept that that means I can't still shop for more stuff because also I'm a skosh crazy. This stuff has to find a home. I just brought in this stuff today. And then, look at this, cool. All this stuff just got dropped off. I think these are, are these all binders? Yeah, oh, I don't like this size. E. I don't like this size at all. They're too big. I wanted the one inch, so wham me. Maybe I'll trade these in and uh, just go buy my own. Because in the crates, we already have them keep one this size for their article of the day. These are going to be for their data binders. And I just feel like for third grade, they're just too big. It's too much in their crate. So I'll think on it. Anyway, when husband and I came in on Saturday, I started tearing stuff apart just this stuff. So I thought I wanted to make room for another bulletin board, but good gravy, I cannot fit another bulletin board anywhere on this whole wall. So I think what I'm going to do is I, these look really nice. I'm just going to add, so I have a total of 24. So I'm going to have to add three more per row and then it will be lined up there. And I feel like that will just be nice. And then for today, the things that I want to accomplish are, number one, I want to uh, go through the books on my shelves over there, there, and uh, just put them all in order, weed out some maybe that I wanna get rid of, make room for some new, out with the old and with the new. And then I am going to, you know, I don't even know. I have a list. I do. But sometimes the mood strikes me to do something that's not on my list. I'm sure we're surprised. Um, I don't know. I'm overwhelmed to the point of wanting to run out of here screaming and crying and saying, no, I'm not coming back. I'm coming back, right? Yeah, two days. Um, anyway, I just brought some more stuff to make my life a little more complicated. I'm kidding. I'm going to figure some stuff out and then and then I'll show you my progress.
I'll start up here by my desk. I got the little jobs thingy up. Don't pay any attention to that because that's where it all stopped, but that's okay. Um, desk, hot mess, express, except for, look at this. I have a really funny story about this. Um, I was at Hobby Lobby and <clears throat> I had waited in line a really, really, really long time because there was some, just some stuff going on with the customers in front of me. They wanted stuff. They didn't want stuff. They wanted stuff again and then take this off by order. Anyway, it was a hot mess and it was like a 20 minute hot mess. So by the time I got up there, I was tired and I wanted to be done. So this cool thing was, and if you know Hobby Lobby, you know, so much of the time they have uh, sales that are 50% off of wood items or wall decor. Well, this is metal and clearly is wall decor, right? It comes with the little hanging thingies, see? So I get up to the register and it was finally my turn. I was super happy. <clears throat> so the gal rings it up and everybody to this point at Hobby Lobby, I have not had one little iota of I mean, they're so nice, so kind, so helpful. So this was just an off day, I'm sure. But the gal says, um, when she rang it up, um, the, the price of it, and it was full price. And I said, oh, that's wall decor, and it's metal wall decor, and it said it was 50% off. And she sna kind of snapped, well, not kind of, she really snapped, and she said, nope, that's table decor. And I thought, no, it's not. So I pointed out the little holes because I thought, well, maybe they have something that's similar that holds utensils. I didn't know. So I pointed to the little holes and I said, well, no, here's the wall holes. She says, nope, it's table decor. <laughs> and so at this point, my head was going to either start spinning around or she was going to fix it. So I said, hey, is, you know, is there anybody else you could ask just to double check? So she kind of gives me a look and calls over her manager and she said really loud, she said, um, this lady wants half off on this because she's not going to put it on her table. She's going to hang it on her wall instead. And I was torn between wanting to scream and cry or laugh. I didn't know. And the manager kind of gave her a, a weird look and he said, no, that's for the wall. That's wall decor. She said, okay, whatever you say. And so it was mine for half price. The end. Okay, I don't know if I showed you this part, but this little cup is going to hold my Expo markers. Why? Because I have 800 cups and that is one of them. My coffee thing that I bring in, my Hydro Flask full of coffee will sit here. And if it's not tall enough, I'll just pull this shelf down. That's same as last year, my currently reading <clears throat> These guys are same. Um, still going to do the riddle of the day. Got the date set up for our meet the teacher. That's probably not going to be up, but I just wanted it to flatten out. I brought in, oh, okay, so these were some crates that I just had in my garage. Clearly not the color scheme, but that's what I used for another thing another time. I have all of the... Uh, tags and whatnot and math kits in both of these. So that's cool. Then this is my little um, thing I got at Target. I think I showed it in another video. I have my two things that I'm going to hang up eventually when I really don't know. I have, okay, these are all binders that we're going to be using for our uh, data tracking, but they're kind of big. So I asked my principal if she would mind, these are inch and a half, which for the bigger kids, I don't know. We just have such limited space um, with all our millions of books we seem to have. Um, and so I asked her if I can find something smaller, can I use that and just give these back? And she said, sure. So that's my goal. This stuff is all stuff I'm taking home um, some paper that I uh, bought and brought in and I'm running low at home. So I'm going to take that back home. I have my to-do list. I have my drinks that got me through the day. Um, nothing done over here at all. 
all of this is going to be tomorrow's job. I have to go through all my games. I'm going to get rid of a substantial amount of them just to make it a little easier to look at. I don't know. We'll see. I say that now. We'll see. This table. Wow. Look at that. Not bad, right? I have just stuff <laughs> that I still have to go through, but it's not that bad. This crate up here is full of stuff that needs shredded. So that's kind of like just ignore because that's going to go away. Um, my games in the little rainbow containers there. These are, um, they're games, but they're specifically teacher ones that I ask them just to use with me so that I can monitor. Um, over here, I don't think anything's changed. I did find these really cute things that I will show you. I have two of them. I just thought this was so nice. It's a placemat um, from, where did I get this? Either, sorry, he's dropping it. Either Hobby Lobby, I believe it was Michael's though. Anyway, I just thought this was so pretty. It shows the countries. And then on the back, if they wanted to challenge themselves, they could with a dry erase marker. So I have two of those now and I think the kids are really gonna love them. Over here, like I said, nothing's really changed. This is not my water, so I'm just gonna set it here. I don't know whose it is. Um, my fridge, my freezer door broke off. So that's what this thing is, but I'm just gonna leave it because it worked last year just fine. I keep ice packs in there for the kids so we don't have to always go to the nurse if it's just something that we can fix in the room. Still need the one that's missing there. It just says teacher only, just because there's just like manipulatives and things in there that I don't want them just plowing through. Same with these. Then I put away some books. I went through every single one of these, which was really super neat, especially when I found the dead roach. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was super fun. Um, I'm putting anything that has um, pencils, pens. I have to go through all these. I'm just going to keep the ones that are usable. But other than that, I went through every single one of those containers cleaned them out i don't have any cards or envelopes in there right now and i have one empty one that had previously held stamper markers but they're all dead now so i think of something else put in there and then i got rid of what else did i get rid of oh vocabulary cards and i put uh extra crayons in there look at how cute my crayons are and then i have erasers in this one i am gonna put a little um Ooh, will that work? Maybe. Put like some kind of little sticky thing so that they can stay where they're at. But aren't they pretty? They just make me so happy to look at all those pretty colors. Scissors, markers, staplers, um, glue. This, my mom bought me some uh, of the crayons and I bought some and I bought some markers and colored pencils. And I don't know why that's so satisfying, but I love all those colors. They are the skin colored markers and um, crayons and pencils from Crayola. And then I still have to make a number seven. I have to print out the whole stinking page just for one number. This, I've decided what I'm going to do up here. I am going to condense this to no more than... Let's see, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, ten to twelve, maybe even eight, because I feel like there are definitely some, like the all of the above. Well, I guess I should probably keep that one if, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but like perseverance and overcoming challenges, those are so similar in third grade. I mean, in all the grades, but you know what I mean? Um, don't be afraid to try new things and courage. Those kind of go together. Compassion, um, acceptance might go together. So anyway, I just, I'm gonna move them. The, I'm gonna leave the top row and move the, the middle row down, like so it's there, so we have more room because we didn't really have a lot of room. Anyway, I'm just going to try that, see if it works. I put more uh, book tubs out because, you know, you know your girl did some shopping. Mm -hmm. 
who lets me go to bookstores? I know, my own self. But anyway, I've got a few more books. Went through all of these. These are now organized and lovely. Stool, stool, school, no, no, no. Student, student mailboxes are all done and labeled. These drawers are all empty with the exception of the very bottom one. I have the uh, sleeves in there. And then I have pages in here that were some leveled books for some of my kids that needed a little extra help. And these were from our Magic Treehouse thing that we did. So I'm just going to probably toss all those or... I'm, I just want to wait and see if I need any of the lower level readers. Um, back table is, you know, pretty much okay. These are the only books, because I found them hiding out somewhere, these are the only books that still need, well, okay, as soon as I said that I lied, these books and these books, but look, look at how pretty the shelves are. I think they're pretty. Um, they're very full. Wow. Wow. That's all my gross garbage with a roach carcass in there. I'm not going to talk about that anymore because it makes me sad and sick. These, I decided, did I tell you this morning? I feel like I told you this morning that I took them all down on Saturday. Maybe I didn't tell you that, but I took them down and I redid them. Um, I didn't like the way, first of all, they weren't up quite right. I tried to kind of stagger them, then I didn't. Anyway, the whole year they bugged me. So I made them look a little nicer and I need two more, but I need to decide if I want, um, it, just what colors. Oh, that was fun. Um, anyway, and then I took all the birthday names off. It's not really six o'clock. This clock isn't working. It is really 445 though. So I need to go, <sighs> got to put the birthdays up. Um, really not too much changed here once I got all this stuff off of it. This, holy moly, holy, holy moly. This is going to be a task for, we're thinking we might be able to get to some of it tomorrow afternoon, but we're not sure. Um, this is stuff that we copied. Most of it is uh, stuff that we copied last year for this year, right? I think. Some of it, though, is leftovers. Like, this is leftovers. So I just need to go through and decide, do I want to keep it? Do I just want to dump it and try again later? I do hate wasting paper, but that unfortunately seems to be part of the nature of the job. I do try to recycle it whenever I can as scratch paper, but I usually copy on both sides, so I won't waste paper. So anyway, um, these are all good. Um, they're housing quite a bit of extra materials that I have purchased um, for now and I will put out once we get uh, to that point. This I need batteries for and then we're back to here. So I don't think it's too bad. This um, I think I already said I have to go through, see if what's worth keeping, what's not. have to put my thing on the chair. These are their table tubs so that I have to... Uh, I'm gonna make new label tags for those. I need to see if the ones I made will fit. I don't know. Cause I did make two sets, didn't I? Hmm. Yeah, I already did. So just have to see if they'll fit on the side. They look smaller than I remember them. And then just put away the rest of this. And then tomorrow's gonna be mostly games and going through. Those are all uh, things from the copy center, almost all. And these are my benchmark advancings. They're all ready for the first unit. I put everything in there, but, and I put them across the top of the board, but they don't need to be up yet because we don't start with unit one for the first couple weeks. So that is a little overview of my room. I'll go around one more time. This will help me too when I go home decide what I'm going to focus on tonight. And yeah, tonight. So that is it for this vlog. I am going to try to get this up. What day is today? Today's Tuesday. So by Thursday, 
right? Is today Tuesday? Yes. By Thursday, I should have this vlog up and then tomorrow I'll film again. And I'm so, so stinking excited to say everything is clean and in its place and done. Won't that be amazing? Anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day or your setup time if you're a teacher getting ready for back to school. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to help me grow my channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.